Hi everyone, welcome back to my garden. Today we are in my backyard and I wanted to give you guys a heads up or a, I don't wanna call it a garden tour because I feel like there's not much to see right now. My backyard is kind of a mess because we've decided we have landscape rocks all over the place and we've finally decided to get rid of them and replace it with mulch and replace it with, you know, more, more plants. Um, and so what Jason did is he posted on Craigslist and he wrote, you know, free landscape rocks. You just have to come in. You have to get it yourself. And there's been tons of people that have been, you know, calling and emailing and wanting to come and get landscape rocks. And we did it over in my side plumbago bed as well. And all of those rocks are gone. Yay. Um, and so now we're having people come into the backyard and get some rocks out of the backyard. So everything's kind of a little torn up right now. Uh, it looks, looks a little rough, but um, my goal for this year was to document all parts of my garden each month so that by the end of the year, I could go back or we could go back and we could look at everything and look at the progress. So I wanna show you guys anyway. Again, I'm hesitant to call it a garden tour because um, there's not a ton to look at, but at least we can see what's going on. Okay, so starting in the side yard by my espalier honeysuckle, this is definitely growing. You can see the shoots coming up the top, so I'm gonna have to start um, pruning that pretty soon. And then if you look underneath all the rocks, um, it, the whole top layer has been scooped off. So there's a ton of weeds and there's a ton of dirt and there's just a little bit of extra rocks that we have to wait and for have people come scoop off the last layer. And then we'll be able to cover this with mulch. There's landscape fabric underneath it. Um, and so then we should be able to start landscaping right in that spot. So moving on. We have this little bed right here. I just threw down some extra compost I had. But you can see I put some tulips in here and you can see the tulips are starting to come up. And so that will be very pretty. And then this right here, the sticks, this is a double chiffon Rose of Sharon. So that'll be pretty once it starts blooming. And then moving on here, here's my pinkaboo camellia sisenqua, and then here's the pinkaboo happy birthday that I got for my birthday. And it is not blooming yet, but I think it's coming soon. And then kind of the big thing is, we have had absolutely no rain in January, which is not a good thing. Um, and we have no rain in the forecast, so we decided just to take the covers off of our couches so that we could use the fire pit and come out here and hang out and maybe possibly have a meal or two. So it's been around the 50s and 60s. I think having, um, you know, hanging out around the fire pit with the family, I think that'll be really fun. So, you know, it's not great. Obviously we're in another drought year because it's, you know, it's almost the end of January and we've really had nothing. Um, so hopefully it'll start raining a little bit more in February and if it does, I'll just come out and I'll throw the covers back on the couches. But that's kind of nice. Silver lining is it's nice to have the couches useful now. And there's my greenhouse. And then I wanted to show you guys the sweet peas, the extra sweet peas that I just threw in here, and they are looking so good. They're coloring up. They were all pale and white because I was kind of neglecting them, but they're doing really good and starting to grow a little bit. So I think those will pull through. That's my improved Meyer lemon tree. And my purple queen bougainvillea. This is still dormant. It's not ready to start growing yet, which is a good thing. We want, we want it to stay dormant. And then you can see I just come through and I just prune off any of the leaves that are on the on the trunk to keep it a standard. So moving on, my greenhouse is still staying pretty clean. This was one of the big projects in January was making this extra bench and then totally revamping this greenhouse. So I'm really happy I did that. I've been using it all the time, which has been great. And then my honeysuckle with my limelight hydrangeas in, be in between. I wanted to show you guys a picture. I found a video that I took of these. I think it was in June 
or July. So I'll show you right here what it looks like in the summer. And this was last year. And you can see it's just really, really pretty with the hydrangeas in between the honeysuckle. And then moving on here, I have my juniper spiral that I'm planning to clean up in the next week or two. And then my privet um, topiary, ball topiary, that I'm gonna have to shape up a little bit as well. Right behind that, I have my hardy hibiscus, my proven winners summerific candy crush, and it looks like nothing. I cut it all the way back down to the bottom, and then um, they always say that this is the last to grow in the spring, so, but then when, once it does start growing, it starts growing fast. But you can see people have come and they've just kind of taken the whole top layer of the rocks. So all the drip tubing is showing and it just, it looks really bad <laughs> right now. All here you can see the landscape fabric. It just doesn't look good. That's okay, work in progress. So this little back corner right here, this is behind my lawn, I haven't decided what I want to do with it. Um, originally, I wanted to put a fire pit back there and then have chairs surrounding it and having a little fire pit area, but now I'm thinking I might want to landscape it with plants. Um, maybe have some, uh, you know, green, like Thuja green giants or something right here, um, and then, I don't know. It, it is right underneath this oak tree, so it is uh, shady for most of the day, and then it gets afternoon sun. So it's kind of a really tough place. This whole bed right here is kind of tough to landscape because it's shade for most of the day, and then it gets the hottest part of the sun So um, in the afternoon. So it kind of, it you have to have plants that can survive shade and then have you know, really, really strong heat by the end of the day. Um, and so sh most shade plants just perish in this area. So it just makes it interesting. I'll have to think about what I'm gonna do right there. And then moving on here, we have my Wichita Blue Juniper. And then we have this guy. Oh, has a tag so I can tell you, it's a dogwood. variegated red twig dogwood. It's the Elegantissima. And it's pretty, I really like the red branches, but I want it to get bigger, so I'm not gonna cut any of these off. I'm not sure if I have to prune this or not. I have to look into that. But anyway, we have that. I have a bunch of hostas planted here, and that was just a trial for last year because again, we get that hot afternoon sun. I was afraid it was gonna burn the hostas. They were so little last year that it was kind of hard to tell, um, but you know, I'll watch this here and see what it does. And then here we have some bobo hydrangeas that I've cut back, and here too, I put my Schubertii alliums all through this bed, so I'll be really interested to see when those pop up. And then here on this tutor, I have two things. I have a clematis that I do not know the name of, but I know it's one of the early bloomers, so I'll have to wait and see how that does. And I'm, I'm super afraid to prune clematis. I never know. Um, so my plan is, is just to leave it this year and kind of see what happens. And then in inside it here, I have a, gosh, I'm blanking on the name. I'm gonna put the name on the screen. Um, it is a, it's hardy to zone 10, and so I don't know if it will survive. I'm just gonna kinda wait and see, and again, I'm gonna leave it. So, it doesn't look very pretty, but I think it, over the next month or so, I'll have a better idea of what's going on on this tutor. And this tutor, I actually made myself. So maybe, maybe I'll make another one sometime. Not pretty. And then here's my old greenhouse that we just use for dry storage now. And on either side, I have these half wine barrels. Last year, I had tomatoes, grape tomatoes in them. And this year, I am not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't really wanna bring too much attention to this area because it's not very pretty. Um, but I do want, you know, it's, it's really good planting spot. So I have to think of what I'm gonna do there. So if you guys have any suggestions, I would love it. Okay, and then moving on this way. 
So this wall of my house faces south, so it's probably the hottest spot, and that's why I planted this bougainvillea here, and I espaliered it up, and I pruned it way, way, way back in fall um, so that I could, I could train it along these wires and get it to go exactly where I want it to go. Um, so that's why it looks kind of bad right now. But by the time it starts growing, I think it's gonna look really pretty and it's gonna be surrounding the windows and just, just look so nice. And then in these three pots, every year I've lived here, I wanted to do matching and then I always end up doing unmatching and this year I'm determined to have them match. So here I have strawberries from Proven Winners. I'll have to repot those. Here I have some snowdrift supertunias that are actually still doing fine, which is funny. And then some snow princess lobularia that's doing fantastic as well. So I'll probably transplant that somewhere else. And then this one, I have Spanish lavender and Bermuda beach supertunias from Proven Winners. So again, all of those are doing great. Oh look, the lavender's budding up. Maybe I'll leave that until the lavender blooms. Pretty. But I'm determined this year, I'm going to do three matching, <laughs> three matching pots right here, right in front of the bougainvillea. I think that'll be really pretty. When we moved in here, these pots were here and they had three odd kinds of roses that hadn't been taken care of and just were not doing well, so I just took them all out. And then the last bed I wanted to show you guys is the one right in front of our living room. My girls just closed the shades because the sun was beating in there. But this is the bed that I cleaned up and then I planted all those tulips in. And the tulips are starting to come out, which is very exciting. And then I have that gomfrina that I cut back that looks perfectly fine. So again, it doesn't look like much. I'm still thinking about um, like a bird fountain right there in the middle and then planting some, you know, some pretty grasses around it. I think that'll be really nice. So that's pretty much it for the backyard for January. There's not a ton of stuff going on. There's not a ton of planting going on yet other than the tulips. Um, mostly we're focusing on the hardscape, really getting rid of those rocks. That's kind of a, a huge job that we had been planning because we, we didn't really like having those rocks there. It's really hard for me to move them aside and plant something underneath them. So having p other people come and do the labor for us is fantastic. I would recommend it. Always post it on Craigslist first. So we're just giving people a chance to come and get all the rocks and then, you know, once that kind of quiets down a little bit, um, we will get the rest of the rocks out ourselves and then we'll plan on putting mulch, black mulch, all over the whole backyard. And I feel like that that's going to really soften the edges and make, um, make everything look a lot more... Um, soft. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. I think it'll just look really pretty and it'll make it a lot easier for me to plant in an area because instead of, you know, pulling back all the rocks, then I'll just be, you know, pulling back all the mulch, which will, which will make it a little bit easier for myself. So I would love any suggestions you guys have specifically for, you know, the back corner area and then the two half wine barrels that I have. Um, I don't have any plans right now. You know, I have a lot of ideas floating through my head and um, I've been looking at Pinterest to see if I could come up with any good ideas, but I also don't want to stress about it and I don't want to rush it. Um, you know, I don't want to do something if it, it's just to throw something there. I'd rather just leave the old cheap patio set that I have and wait until I really think of something that I that I really really like so I would love any comments I would love any suggestions I hope you guys are all doing well I hope all of you on the East Coast are saying are staying warm um, and thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in another video very soon thanks